Hey guys. My name is Chukilo Benjidit and today we are going to be discussing on how you can produce emotion paint. Emotion paint. And you know, emotion paint is a water-based kind of paint. Yes. And without wasting much of your time, let's go to the practical aspect. So guys, this is titanium dioxide and it's the first chemical to be added into our production today. And it performs the duty of coverage in our paint. The second materials to be added in our paint is the carbon pitting. This is the chemical that helps to dissolve other components involved in paint production. It helps to dissolve components involved in paint production to make the end result of our production smooth. This is the next chemical to be added into our paint production. It is called the calcium carbonate or extenders. It serves as fillers and give body to paint. The next chemical to be added in our production today is the PVA, which is also known as the binder. And this is acrylic binder. It is also the chemical that help hold paint to the surface, surface which is wherever it is going to be applied on. The next on our list is Genopore. This is the chemical that help bring all the chemicals involved in paint production together to form a single unit. This is the next chemical to be added into our production and it is called the foamer. It helps reduce every excessive foam in the finished product. This is the next chemical to be added into our paint production today and it is called the formalin. It prevents the paint from being decayed by microorganisms. The next chemical to be added today is the biocide. This is the chemical that is added into produced paint that, kill, that kills microorganisms such as midwill, fungi, bacteria, muco, etc. Natural soil is the next chemical to be added into our production today and it helps thicken the paint. It also makes it possible for paint to hold on to brush through to the surface where it is going to be applied. The next chemical that is going to be added into our production today is little amount of ammonia. It helps to preserve the paint. Without wasting much of our time, let's dive into our production. And please don't forget to use your protective measures, which are your nose marks, your goggle glasses, your hand glow. Forget the fact that I am not using my own hand glue because I want to make use of my hand in the production process. Then, don't forget that all the chemicals have been measured. It has been measured before resuming the production. Also, after the addition of any chemical, you mix very well. You mix very well before the addition of another chemical. I don't need to show all the time it took me to mix each chemical before adding another one to avoid prolonging the videos for my viewers. Make sure you stir or mix properly, even if you are using your hand or a mixer. As you can see, after the addition of carbon PT, titanium dioxide, the next on our list is calcium. And calcium are always in powdered form. They are always in powdered form and they are basically white in nature. They serve as fillers and give body to the paint in question. They are also added into paints to increase the quantity of the size of the production. As you can see, the next chemical that is about to be added is known as PVA, polyvinyl acetate. It is also called the acrylic, which is the binder that helps hold the paint or the finished product to the surface, surface which is anywhere the paint is going to be applied on. As you can see, this is the addition of the genopore. The genopore is the chemical that helps hold all the other chemicals involved in the paint production to form one single unit. This is the addition of the former. Due to one of the chemicals added into the paint, which is emulsifier, it has tendency of having excessive foam during production process. The former removes excessive foam from the finished paint products. This is the addition 
of formalin and biocide. These are chemicals that is added into paint products that kill microorganisms like midwill, fungi, muco, bacteria. Hence, it prevents the paint from decay or being decayed by microorganisms. Now, we are about to add natural soil. And natural soil is the chemical that is added into paint formulation that makes the end result to be thickened. It also makes it possible for paint to hold on to brush through to surface. And mind you, before the addition of natural soil, natural soil must be mixed in another container with water before it can be added into our production. And when natural soil is added, mix continually until the paint is thickened. This is the addition of ammonia. And please do not use ammonia as the only preservative for your paint because it will escape from the paint container. This is the addition of our pigment, which are the colors. We have the powdered pigment and the paste pigment. So for our production today, we are going to be using the paste pigment. Guys, comment PVA if you've watched the video to this moment. Thank you guys for sticking around with us to the end of today's video. Please subscribe and share. I'll see you guys later. Bye.